Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla, and welcome to Chrono Cross Episode 1. We're starting my all-time favorite video game story told soundtrack all in one package. It's Chrono Cross for me. Good to see you all people there. Lupka, Carter, you guys were there like before I started streaming. John, like the preemptive raid. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> John and I both adore this game, so... John knows. <laughs> John knows what's coming. Where's that beer? Raiders of the Fridge. <laughs> the beer is in Blood Omen 2. Remember that bar we found in Blood Omen 2? Yeah, that's where we left the beer. When I ignored the beer and went for something else. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Chrono Crothers. It's also... Hey there, the Lotus Reaper. <laughs> yeah, it's also a square game, so you know that could be the reason why. That was Ale, big difference. You're right, you're right, Carter. Hold on, I forgot my glasses. I see that the text is pretty small. I was so hyped to start this. Then as it happens, the capture card died. I almost cried. <laughs> Sasha was having a class, so she missed the whole Ah, it's not working! What the fuck do I do? So I had to like, I had to troubleshoot the, the issue and and I did, so we're a little late, but better late than ever. <laughs> yeah, John adores this game as well. No, I was legit scared, like, are you really gonna do this? Then I was like, okay. Calm down, this happens. Maybe maybe the capture card just burns out when you're excited like this. It happened for a few important games. Of course it's gonna happen for this one. Why wouldn't it happen for this one? And it took like 10 minutes to fix, so it wasn't too too bad. As long, you know, if I were panicking, it would be it would be <laughs> it would be much, much worse. <laughs> I will, I will, sis. <laughs> Easy now. I will. So, uh, just a couple things before we start, uh, not much to say, uh, I will have my driver's, well, theoretical test sometime soon, I still don't know when, they're gonna let me know, but uh, we're back to the schedule, well, this was the only game schedule for this week, I'll uh, update it as soon as I hear more from the, from the driving school, and there should be at least two streams a week moving forward, it would be lovely to have more, but it all depends on the on how much there is to do that week with work and like, driving school and the school school and other stuff so yeah <laughs> uh, don't die John I followed you when you wore long sleeved clothes <laughs> long funny hair <laughs> yeah I saw that I saw like some of the clips from the final season, let's say, of uh, Blood Omen 1, when you joined us, Carter, and I was like, holy shit, this was just so recent, I look different. <laughs> but I was just commenting yesterday that I'm very happy that I did cut my hair, because this summer is incredibly hot. It's uh, It gets around 40 in the sun during day here, and this is not the hottest days, we're still gonna see the hottest days, so... Woo-wee! That's gonna be gonna be hotter so you know if I um, if I still had my hair I would probably cry but we'll get back to that we got some uh, we got a memo from the from the ISP that fucked us over when we moved here remember we wouldn't move here if they didn't promise uh, optical internet connection which they're like no oh sorry we can't do that it's like too expensive for you one person to get into that street so <laughs> So I got a memo from them today saying, you know what, <laughs> we we don't owe you anything, fuck you. They didn't say it like that, they were nice about it, but they were, you know, corporate nice. So, yeah, they were like, uh, you wanna, yeah, you go ahead and sue us, see what happens. But, you know, all in nice language, like, ah, you can try to sue us, but we don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> so, you, you know, they're the biggest communication company in the, in the country, so... There's a good chance we might move away from here because this is really annoying. That's internet's really important for our work, for obviously for streaming, for playing, and 
wireless internet like 4G is not there yet. Maybe 5G would be when it arrives. Maybe that's our saving grace. I don't know. But uh, I don't trust anything that doesn't have wires between you. See this controller? I don't trust it. There's no wires coming to the console. It could Anything could happen. Like mid-game, battery died. Oh, thanks, controller. So yeah. <laughs> but uh, without further delay, people are anxious. Let's start Chrono Cross. Oh, yep. I'm glad you people are very happy there. Let's start Chrono Cross. Vibration function on. Oh, I can't wait for this. The controls are same, except yeah, they're reversed for for Western. So A is now confirmed. B is canceled. Okay. Why is that window okay? Key item window menu. That's the same battle. Confirm. Okay. Same. Same. Controls can be redefined. Selecting the customize option from the menu. Good to know, game. Yep, that's true, Carter. It is. Today, it is like that. Especially if you live off the internet. <laughs> Alright. In we go. I am Serge. I always imagine, you know, it's spoken with a French accent. Oh, uh, mon ami Serge. Yes, Kat, you don't like that accent? <laughs> uh, we're not going to change his name. No, I said we're not going to. Ah! Okay, I don't want to delete. How do you go out? Y, X, B, 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 B. Wait, do I press start? Do I press, oh, there you go. Default, A, and then confirm. Whoop, almost fucked that up. Here we go. For Dragonia, I remember stuff. <laughs> yep, that is true. <laughs> oh, vibrations are there. Okay, pretty good port so far. The first cutscene. The stream is at 30 frames per second because the game is, so we're not getting gaining anything from 60 frames. And uh, oh my god, here we go! It's got impulse triggers. The triggers are vibrating. They really tried. Okay, it's not bad. So here's the thing. I talked about this before. Every time you start Chrono Cross, you're gonna you this scene here, you're gonna be there's gonna be Surge, Kid, and one random character out of 45 playable. Well, 43 when you deduce uh, Kid and uh, or is it 45 all the anyway one random character. This time it's Korcha. It could be any of them, like literally any of them. Why? Because you can get to this point with any of them. But we'll get there. We gotta give them all voices. <laughs> 45. <laughs> I have to try. Korcha is gonna be like this. <laughs> He's not gonna be Popeye, I'm gonna tell you that much. What is it, Serge? You look troubled. This is it. There's no turning back now. Oi, come on, Serge. Korcha. Just you wait, Lynx. Oh, wait. She's gonna have that Popeye voice. <laughs> Australian accent. <laughs> Today's gonna be the day of reckoning. <laughs> <laughs> say your prayers, not that it'll do you any good. See, she says that. I told you she'll say that. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Ha, ha, ha. Hmm. Stag. Yeah, I just gotta remember which voice anyone has. Except for Kid. Kid gets the shittiest voice, definitely. This is me. I'm Serge. I'm the main guy. Look at me. I'm so sexy. Okay, first things first. I will never forget this. First thing we want to do in this game, we want to go customize. Then we want to make that uh, left sit sensitivity to analog because it sits when it's digital. And then default controls, maybe we want to put them to like Japanese controls. No? Yes? Uh, sure, why not? Where you, you just run when you press B, but you can go to like walk when you press B. Yes, sure. Uh, accuracy selection goes to. Let's keep it auto for now. I think it should be manual, but I'm not sure. Default. Yeah, everything default. Default. Oh, memorize cost of position and stereo sound. That's where we want. Yeah. Is that it? Did you save that? Yep, you saved that. Okay, now it should be when I lightly put the stick. No. When I lightly. Oh, wait, because it's. 
that's not it. Oh, you can turn in place with the right stick. Yeah, I remember controls. I remember uh, fucking everything. Woohoo! Um, so be prepped. We want to go run, not walk. You're gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be analog. So you kind of slightly pull the stick. You walk. You push it all the way. You run. I like that. What's going on here? <laughs> Wait, can I do Simon Templeman? I don't think I can do <laughs> that. The only thing from Simon Templeman I kinda can do is. Wait, I gotta remember his laughter. I'm in Chrono Cross now. <laughs> you know the one I mean. Okay, let's go left. Let's take the left round. I'm using my silly voice here because I'm all excited and shit. Oh, you're looking down. What is that down there? What's that crystal like thing? <laughs> Some kind of switch a bugger. With <laughs> Oh no, wait, that's Sylvester the cat. So close yet so far. Let's go, Bugsy. <laughs> well, they are. They're all Mel, Mel, um, Mel Blank. It's like a flashback. It's like a dream. It's like uh, all the things you can fit inside your memory. To <laughs> the temple, man. <laughs> Uh, main guy doesn't talk at all. Yeah, but we can we can voice other people. With <laughs> yeah, I can do that, but I can't do very Victors. When I say that, I sound like I have crap in my pants for some reason. Okay, let's let's run this way. Now I'm gonna I'm not gonna be in a hurry with this game. Really, I'm just gonna play it cool, like cooler than I did Chrono Trigger. Oh, look at that. They have the Final Fantasy VIII disease. They, they want to mimic your movements exactly right, otherwise they will die. Oh, you're not gonna move? Oh, actually they're better than Final Fantasy VIII because they don't have to mimic everything. It's kind of confusing for them, look at them. After a while they're like, what the fuck, man? We're not gonna follow you if you're gonna be silly. Okay, let's go. Hydrate, right off the bat. Good to see you, Delmar. My man. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you. It's been a while. You could make up temple, temple manly lines for him. <laughs> I mean, I should practice that. You know, for you, I will practice next time. Ooh, we've been attacked. Here we go. The, the battle. Can I remember? We're all like... So feel the fact. This is important. Yeah, I, I went, so I went with the classic graphic style because I tried both when I was preparing and I didn't like the new one. The backgrounds look like like a kid watercolored them, just slapped them on, to me at least. So that's why I went with, with like the old one. So it's like we're playing a very upscale PlayStation version, which is perfect for me. Is that, are, is the battle, are you in 60 frames battle? Because that's, I set the stream to 30 frames. It's just shit if you're, if you're in 60 frames. Uh, is it in 60 frames? I can't tell. Ah, damn it. We'll try both. Alternatively, okay, so element we have none defend run away attack Alpha bat, okay, it's a creative name. I guess should there be like a different Oh, you can go first person if you want to yeah There's three of them I guess Okay, uh, what else what else I gotta remember the controls I don't press the. I don't know if I'm gonna press the back buttons because I think some of them speed up the game or some shit like that. I don't want to do that. Um, what else? What else was there? Select start. I think there was. There was a way to pick. Yeah, just fucking attack. So the thing with this game is the 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 weaker the attack, you choose the better the chance to hit as you can see so the weakest attack has 92 percent uh, to hit the strongest number three has 69 so the thing is to and each of them so they take one two and three stamina you have seven stamina total per third and the the more you hit the higher hit percentage goes but if you miss it goes down so you gotta approach it kind of strategically so we'll go one then we'll go Straight to three, because that's three out of four. I might miss. Hush! Sha, I didn't miss. And that guy's dead, and I still have three stamina left. Alright, Sergey, you can still attack, but also you can let Kid give a try. Come on, Kid. 
Show him what you got, kid. Straight to three. Yeah. And another one. Wash! It didn't need to be three, but why not? Ow! Come on, Korcha, you and your... What was this? Fishing rod. Yeah, his we weapon of choice is the fishing rod. So we can do two and three then. One, two, and three. That's total seven. Yeah, why not? Two. Kick him in the face and then uh, slap him on the side. That's right, Korcha. Kind of confusing that it ends this way. It's going to be back to the panic music. Really cool. Kid got one HP. Korcha got two HP. Use remaining power and elements from this battle for healing. Max healing without using consumables. Use consumables in stock too if needed. Do not heal party. Max healing. There we go. Recover all. Woo! Spoilers found nothing. Charge! That's the elevator thingy, I think. Was it the elevator thingy? There are robots walking around. Kind of looks like the future. Ish. I think we want to get there. Yeah, that's where we want to get. I'm remembering stuff. We can go around this guy. You can avoid battles if you wish. It's perfectly fine. Sorry? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, love. Why? Because it's that good? Haha! <laughs> it's an immortal song. Get it? Because it's immortal. Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna do the Family Guy it's ostrich and be like, ha ah, ha ha, woohoo! There's a bat here. Well, there's a bat here, guys. I'm gonna go this way instead. Approach it from here. There's nothing here. It's gonna be probably something in the like later in the real game. Run, you fools! Woo! You like it now? Of course, I think I'm first <laughs> Well, it's not interlaced for one. Ah! What was there? I kind of want to see what was there. Screw you, robot. <laughs> no, I want to. That that'll take me further. Do it. Do it. Come on. Come on. Do it. It's not a good Arnold day. Oh yeah, this is something. I think we need to push this. Yep. Why are we here? Why? What are we doing here? Why? What is? Why did the game st start in media res? Well, you're gonna find out. Thriller? I'm sorry. Okay, robot dude. You're not robo. Stay away. Zoop! Oh yeah, now we, we've activated it, I think. That's, I should have gone there. My memory serves me well. Oh, impulse triggers, here we go. The trigger itself is why. Yeah! Went to the sky. Whoa! <laughs> Oi, what the bloody hell just happened? What are we doing out here? Popeye? <laughs> wow, bugger, we're so high up. Is this thing floating? It's the manliest of them all. <laughs> I can't do her good voice, I'm just gonna use my voice. Fuck. Did it feel like her body passed through the floor just now? There sure is some fort. She's ignoring it. Hey, Surge. The fuck? <laughs> You're right, mate. You've been acting all weird. We don't know what's, what's up ahead, so just stay on your toes, eh? I can give her a voice like this. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I mean, you're not supposed to know yet. Sir so just nods knowingly and rushes off into the battle. Charge! Oh wait, we gotta give pay respect to the door. Ooh, doo -doo. we're going the Resident Evil route. The heartbeats. Ooh, the the triggers are vibrating really cool. Don't press something, just don't just skip it. She's dead. It is I. With a bloody knife. Am I happy? Why did I kill her, mom? Why did I do that? Why did I? Surge. 
I mean, Serge. A good morning, Serge. Wait. Uh, <laughs> Come on, sleepyhead, get up. Head. <laughs> Reminds you of something maybe the intro to a game we played with a guy being called by his mom waking up in a room with a uh, With a curtain on I'm just gonna remove this curtain right here Woo now it's bright and sunny Yeah, imagine having such a room just like when there's a storm you're a little fucked up But other than that if there's a winter well, that's not a window, it's just like open space. <laughs> yeah, it's El Nido. There's no oh, I found something. Surge took out Surge's not-so-secret savings. Save 200G. Okay, it's my savings. I can steal from myself. Would you like to rest? Nah, not now. Oh, it's been so long since I played this. Ooh, no, no, no. We want light in the room. Open that. I command you to open them curtains, my boy. Ah! You gotta punch him like Super Mario. Arms dealer from Barrel Skin. <laughs> yep, that's what I think. That's what I think whenever I say his name. <laughs> the the guy. No, 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 Serge. His name. Yeah, but like, uh, no, wait. I think. Yeah, his name was Serge, but the, the Axel Foley says it's Serge, not Serge, because he's French. So he says, Aquel, you say it like it's a detergent. <laughs> That's what I think of whenever I think the name Surge. <laughs> okay. Aquel. Alright. Ooh, what's this? Surge took out the tablet out of the pot. Why do you have pot in your room, young man? <laughs> <laughs> Mother. Mother dearest. We have cats, so I'm like Kronos. So, cats this thing. Good morning, Serge. That's not her name. You finally woke up. The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see if you were up, but you, young man, were still off in Never Never Land. You should break pro you shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. Jesus, mother, well, do you have some stories to share about you and dad? What happened in you guys' first date, huh? Was Fess she, up, mother. Was she 12? She's not 12, but she's just like lovely dressed. Look at her. Stop, mother, I'm trying to show you off to my woman. Yeah, she's not, she's not 12. Lena now? <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't read that. Damn it. You wouldn't expect her. She wouldn't do that. My, aren't we confident? Well, I hope you can keep your nerve. Well, she's waiting for me, basically. Come on. Hurry along and go apologize to Lena. Damn it, I didn't read that text, so I'm gonna be more careful. Hey, kitty. No, that's a doggy. No, that's also a cat. We got two cats. Which is kind of, <laughs> which is kind of scary, knowing what we know about Serge. His fear of cat-like creatures. A thirty plus year old minds. Poof poof. Oh, that's puff puff. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Welcome to Arnie, my village. Hello, lovely people of Arnie. Yeah, that's a that's a catch. Sergi, check out this sawfish. It's sawfish, actually. Oh, she made it. <laughs> Poppy caught it down south by the El Nido Triangle. Nobody likes going down there, though. They all say it's creepy. Wow. But this sucker sure looks tasty. Mmm. <laughs> I kind of sounded like Herbert the Pervert. Hey, Chris. <laughs> hey, hey, Chris. I can't do it now. Yeah, the colors are just assaulting my senses in the best way. Yo, Serge, what do you think of this sawfish? Have you ever seen one this size? Huh? This has to be from the legendary Dragon King Palace. Wouldn't you agree, Serge? 
Ha, you wish. You're probably right. I'm gonna say, ha, you wish. Yeah, I guess legends are meant to be legends. Yeah, that definitely would have been too good to be true. What if I tell you? Oh, well, at least I know for sure that this one's a biggie. Live an honest life and something good is bound to happen. Ha ha ha. Why does he sound like he's starting a Zodiac? <laughs> oh man, I should have encouraged him. <laughs> this is my cat head, my cat boots, my cat mittens, my cat underwear. <laughs> Dragon. Dragon quest. <laughs> Dragon kink. Dragon kink, okay, yeah. Dragon kink. I wish the legend was true though. The Dragon King Palace. There ain't enough dreams out there lately. Ha! Why do you sound like you're starting a Zodiac Mind Warp song? Hello, Serge. Beautiful day today, isn't it? Sure feels great outside. Ah, just being able to bask in the sun all day sure is a nice change. They say the rain cleanses one's spirit, but at our age we've had enough cleansing. <laughs> What do you mean, Granny? Or is that... Yes, I know. I wonder if those outsiders are back digging now that the rains let up. They must be conducting some kind of investigation up there in the Fossil Valley. I can't comprehend outsiders. Why would they want to dig up a place like that? Dragon King Pal is the best bro tell in town. A bro tell. <laughs> bro tell. It's, it's more. <laughs> it's bro tell. <laughs> Why, hello there, Sage. Can I interest you in something? I have some great elements. So, would you like to take a look? It's basically what they use for magic here. Show me your elements. Sure, just one second. So tablet heals heals one ally. Ally. So that's a consumable. When they say times one, it means it's a consumable. I have what 300 G. Brothel and uh, Blood Omen. Yeah, it was something like Big Horn. I think. I think it was. I can't remember. It's Brothel because bros go to Brothels. <laughs> I think she wants to kill me now. <laughs> Tablet, cure, fireball, aqua beam. Ooh, I'm gonna need that though later. For now, I'm gonna buy nothing because I gotta remember how to play this game. Thanks, come again. I didn't buy anything. I wanna see your um, weapons and armor. Forge disassemble itself. So you need, yeah, you need, you need parts to forge weapons. <laughs> well, now you're in Arnie. What brings you here to this quiet seaside village? Oh, it's you, Serge. Just don't be going near Hydra ma marshes to the east if you go outside. I don't want to, you to, to run into those evil dwarves at that Hydra, you know. Say, why don't you go talk to the village chief before you shut out? His house is just past those gates down yonder. Oh, down yonder where? Down yonder where? Hello there, kid. Yo, Sergi! I heard you totally blew off Lena this morning. I didn't think you had it in you. That was real gutsy of you. I guess that kind of shows her who's the boss, eh? Don't tell her I said so, but my sister is a bit too thick, too quick, <laughs> to lash out. Could you, like, make her be a little nicer to me? You have my support all the way. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. That's more appropriate voice yeah, for her. <laughs> Bro, me. <laughs> All right, John, no problem, man. Stoof. Hey, 
Sergi, do you know what's popular among the village girls these days? A necklace made from Komodo dragon scales. You know, those monsters that eat fire. I want to get some for Kiki, but there's no way I can beat those monsters. Oh no! <laughs> if I don't do something about this now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Boy, am I in a fix. <laughs> They're all like 1950s. <laughs> this is like a settlement stuck in time. Oh, there we go. You got a dragon there. Hello, little fella. Let me talk to the girl first. No, not the dragon, the girl. No, dragon. Sergi, don't be mean to my Celine. Hello, Celine. Oh my god, it's snarling to me. It's snarling at me. Your Celine is snarling at me. Stay away. Do you know about Lizard Rock, southwest of the village? I've heard there's that a mother Komodo dragon comes out every once in a while. I've told Kiki numerous times not to play there, but she never listens to me. I guess kids will be kids. I guess they will be. Blah. That Kiki, I wonder if that child knows how wor worried I get. That goes for you too, Serge. You shouldn't be playing out there. It's dangerous. They have multiple lines of text. I like that. Okay, okay, now you said that. Okay, bye bye. You can just leave mid conversation, be rude. Like in Chrono Trigger. Meow. Oh, ah, hi, Serge. I was lost in my thoughts there. <laughs> you know how Kiki's growing up so quickly. Sometimes I'm just amazed at how much she resembles her mother. Yeah. I guess my wife is like that too. She's been very much like her mother since as long as I can remember. I guess that demonstrates how life continues to live on through generations. It's been about 10 years since I became a fisherman. Back then, I still had others' aspirations, but I ended up succeeding my dad. I guess you can say that everything here represents 10 years of my life. Lion sharks, sawfish, six-horned narwhals, you name it. They represent all my hard work and dedication. I love my job and I'm happy with my current lifestyle and all, but lately, I get to thinking when I see Kiki. Kiki about how I could have had a different future. What if I'd chosen a different path 10 years ago? Oh, let me. There's a mouse here, don't worry. Oh, that's why I'm Kids will be kids. Ass hat. <laughs> What if I'd chosen a different path 10 years ago? Then I'd be living a completely different life than I am now. I'm not saying which one would have been better. I just wonder where the other path may have led me. I guess the longer you live, the more you wonder about another you that might have been. This is important though. Boy, life sure is complex. Oh! Hey, sirs, you want this? Here, take it. It's an amulet I'm, I made from a lion shark tooth 10 years ago when I decided to become a fisherman. I don't need it anymore. I have my wife and Kiki watching over me. Serge received shark tooth. So, all the things he talked about, another life, another him. You know, this is a game about two yes. different dimensions. Well, in the other dimension, he did choose another life. So we're gonna need that to not be a fisherman. He, I forgot what he did, but I, I, I'm not sure where he's happier. I just remember this guy and his story. So you give him the shark to you? Yeah, I think I'm gonna give this to him. Actually, I'm pretty sure. I just get this feeling that there's another me living another life. It's just a funny feeling I have. Sounds crazy, huh? But if for any reason you happen to meet him, I want you to give him that amulet and tell him it's from the other you. 
All right then, off to catch some more fish. I need to buy Kiki a new dress, you know. It's like, you know, you know what I need? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> what if I had picked Pepsi over Coca-Cola? Are those are those moths or bats? I think they're moth bats. Okay, that's the same sentence. We have the Okay, okay, thank you. Voila. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh geez, it is 60 frames per second. Why are you then so weird game? Okay. Whoop. On if you're on mobile, yeah, it'll happen. I will always recommend go to PC. Cause the the Twitch app is every time I raid someone, I I, I lose them after two seconds. I just get in, say hi, and they're gone. Anything here to check? Nope. <laughs> Up we go. <laughs> you never know. In a parallel universe, you might as well be. Oh, there's someone here. Hello there. I didn't see you. You blended into the background. Hello there, Serge. Word has it that Komodo dragon scales are quite popular among the young ones these, these days. So, you're collecting them too, huh? What, to make a silly little necklace? That's right. No way. Uh, that's right. He nodded knowingly. <laughs> well said, Serge. You truly are a man of the sheep. They don't call me a Komodo dragon expert for nothing. Let me give you some pointers. Clean out your ears and listen well, Serge. This is truly top secret. My super duper secret number one. Rock and roll to trap the shocker. My super duper secret number two. Use the lay of the land and make a surprise attack. My super duper secret number three. There's always one that likes to play tag. Run with all your might. Yeah, I did talk to him. Why? Was I not supposed to? I just talked to him. The he gave me the shark tooth, because I remember that part, kinda. He's like, if you see me in another universe, give that tooth to me, to the other me. Beware, Komodo dragons are mighty cautions, and run at high speeds. You must face them with your wits, courage, and tenacity. Use your lightning start and run like the wind. A whip past them with all your might. Actually, I guess there's no point overtaking them. Anyhow, it's all about guts, my boy. So, once you catch up to one, you must fight. Kick that little shucker's butt. But don't get your own butt kicked. <laughs> that's all about that's about all I can teach you about the ways of an expert. Now go, Serge. Go for the gold and bring forth a brighter tomorrow. Heh <laughs> Sorry. Wait, why did you apologize there at the end? What did you do? What did your grandfather do? What did you do, Grandpa? What did you do? Is there a grandpa at all? Is that your auntie, maybe? I can't see. I can't see through Serge's eyes. Never mind. I'm just gonna leave this house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, these colors. Hello there, ma'am, sir. The pier's up ahead. Listen, don't be messing with those boats. I'm sure you understand. A boat is like a limb to our fisherman. Pull any stunts like last time, and I'll whack you in the head. Oh, what did I do? Did I, did I fuck something up? Test your might. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that totally goes with this. Where's the stairs, Serge? Serge, my boy, is that my house? Can't remember if that was my house. No, it's not my house. It's some... Yep. This is my house. 
enter at own risk. Oh, well, a small spoiler, we're gonna recruit that thing to be our party member. Thing? Yeah, the Pekinezer, Pekinese dog. It looks like a little Pekinese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll go get to them. You used to cry and run away at the mere sight of a pushy cat. Do you remember? When you were about yay high, you <laughs> were attacked by a panther demon. I guess it left an emotional scar. But it's good that you've overcome that fear. Girls will think you're a weenie running away from cats. Thanks, Granny. <laughs> Way to boost my confidence. Fucking grandma. <laughs> yeah, they're all they're all they're all a little old, so that's my old person's voice. <laughs> I can't do a Scottish accent. I, I I must learn, lad. Good morning, Serge. Don't tell me you just woke up. Don't you know that the early bird gets the worm? Lena's over there on the pier. Looks like her mother asked her to babysit. Oh, there she is. That's Lena over there. That's my girlfriend. Hi, Lena. I'm here, stuck in another house. Hi. Oh, she doesn't want to talk to me. Well, serves me right. I woke up at noon. Yeah, she's his girlfriend. Oh yeah, we will. We'll find the dog. <laughs> well, you're not far from. You're not far from the truth. Carter, so minor spoilers if you don't want to mind, or major, but like it not, won't make any sense now. So if you don't want to hear them, cover your ears in three, two, one. <laughs> this is the same world as in Chrono Trigger, right? It's the same world, only this location did not exist in Chrono Trigger at all, because, well, it didn't exist uh, in this, like, this is, let's say this is a fucked up new timeline. Because something happened, somebody caused something to happen. Somebody we know from Chrono Trigger caused something to happen, and this all. So this place is called El Nido Archipelago. This this island is called what? It's called the main island, I think. El Nido. Yeah. Uh, it has that that name has two. Yeah, two meanings. One. It's like a pun in Japanese, but it also has the original Spanish meaning. But like back to what I'm saying, um, they're kind of—I don't know what it's gonna say incest, but they're yeah, it was kind of inbreeding in these islands, kind of not really, but because oh sure, uh, well, unplug your ears when I'm done. I'll, I'll I'll wave when I'm done like this. So basically, well, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not Lavos. I'm, ba I'm back in my own house. No, sorry, mom. Wasn't gonna talk to you. You talked to that guy. With There's the gate. Well, they said that uh, the leader, the. Let's go meet the girlfriend. I think we talked to everyone. I'm gonna save her for last. Wait, I wasn't in this house, though. It looks like the Viper Festival will be cancelled again this year. Our only celebration of El Nido Archipelago down the drain. There hasn't been anything good to talk about since the army from port took over the islands three years ago. We wouldn't have to put up with this situation if General Viper and the Dragoons were still here. So poor is... I'm gonna... for those who don't remember... Um, for Inferno Trigger, the western continent, it's south side. So if you remember where we were doing the Fiona side quest, where we were, we were reforesting the land, the town where the mayor was greedy and we had to go back in time and change his, basically change his history, like affect his ancestor so he would be more generous in the present. Yeah, that, that land during the 20 years between Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross has gained a lot of power. I think, I'm not sure, I think they're gonna be the power of the future that like was the main authority in the in the, in the apocalyptic future. Well, uh, they, they're they pretty powerful in this, that's not really spoilers, they're really powerful and I think it says in the manual of the game as well. And they're slowly invading stuff, like taking over. 
So this is still not the future. We're on our way to the future, but we're still like in the present. Alternate present, so yeah. Poor has made quite a... Left quite a mark on the El Nido archipelago. Yo, Serge, have you heard anything about the group of thieves up on the mainland? I think... I haven't. Ah, a group of thieves. Wait for this. I haven't. You really haven't been keeping up, have you? It's pretty big news, even in El Nido. Those mysterious thieves have broken up, broken into a bunch of houses up on the mainland. When, it's, when they say mainland, they mean of the El Nido archipelago. Probably poor, maybe Guardia, most likely poor. Because this is like just off, off coast of poor. They're cold-blooded bastards. They'll go to any extreme to get money or jewels. Even the powerful nation of poor can't seem to get a hold of them. I think they call themselves the Radical Dreamers. Wouldn't want to run into those bandits. Uh, that's something, alright. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. It's the power of love. Yeah, we'll check it just a bit. Hamana, hamana, hamana. She sure is pretty. What a knockout that dancer Mickey is. The port town of Termina has its share of dancers, but no one, I say, no one, compares to Mickey. But mind you, I've never actually seen Mickey dance. Oh, how I would love to see them jiggle. Er, I'm talking about her arms, of course. <laughs> Whoa, Serge, don't tell Grandma about this. Okay, you perv, you're... Your, your secret's safe with me. Oh, there's the cook. Hey, cook. He's not gonna talk to me. Hello, pig dog. Pig dog. It's a dog. It's a dog, all right. It's like their version of Chihuahua, I guess. Hi there. Why, hello, Serge. Do you want to hear the real truth about the world? Insanity leads to chaos, then to solitude. The fruitless effort of adding meaning to what is meaningless. A lone crimson tear falls to the sea. The echo of the remaining star cries out in the infinite vacuum. The last I the least I can do is send my distant prayers over the wind of wind of time, setting sail on dreams. Well, how'd you like it, Serge? Were you moved? I've been dreaming about becoming a poet since I was little. I want to cross the continent and make a name for myself with just a pencil and paper. But look at me. I'm in this puny village in the middle of nowhere, waitressing in this rundown shack. What you say about my restaurant? You can quit any time, you know. Yikes! Just kidding, I was just kidding. I was just saying how good the work environment is. Uh. Don't talk about your workplace like that. In front of your boss, no less. Can we talk to him? Hello, boss. Yo, boss. Boss. Not you, the other boss. Boss. Talk to me, Korcha. Korchas. They're all... They're the Cha tribe. I don't know what they're called. I just call them Cha. Because they all say Doncha, Korcha, Orcha, Woncha. Oh, there we go. Yo, Serge, have you heard your message from the day of the record of fate? No, your message of the day from the record of fate. It's a green pyramid which records your daily activities for you. It's been said that, that this pyramid can not only record the past, but also tell, tell about the future. But I really don't know if that's true or not. Cha ha 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 ha. No, nothing, nothing to see here. Nothing weird at all. This is just how humans interact. My wife will kill me if she finds me snacking like this. Well, how about no snack? The wild hungry man. I've never noticed that thing there. No, it wasn't terrible. Shut up. <laughs> you know nothing. No answer. It's just a barrel. Or really? Did I just try to talk to a barrel? Oh, hello there, frightful chihuahua thing. Beef! 
Oh, I found an ivory helmet. It's empty. <laughs> I found a Hecron bone. Nice. We're gonna need that. Nothing there. What the hell is a Hecron? <laughs> Remember that from Radical Dreamers? Yeah. If I miss something, yeah, you know this game more than I do. Remember, I only played it once, and I didn't have the courage to play it again because it broke me emotionally. So yeah. What was that? Oh, that's our cat. Jesus, I thought it was from the game. Tell me these things. Whatever you know that I don't, please tell me. It's so detailed. So inspect the barrel multiple times, huh? No answer. It's just a barrel. No answer. It's just a barrel. No answer. It's just a barrel. Do I have to do it like 50 times like in RE2? Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what do you want already? I said I'm just a barrel. A barrel. Ch fine, just take it, man. Here. Search found uplift in the barrel. Okay, I did not know that. I did not know that. Thank you, John. It answered, but it's just a barrel. Probably. Is this a reference to Radical Dreamers? Wait, item in Lena's house in the watering can blue object? Thank you, thank you, Serge. I just gotta remember which her house is, but yeah. Did I just say thank you, Serge? I meant thank you, John. <laughs> Did I just call you Serge? <laughs> I'm not sure what I said there, so pardon me. Oh, welcome back, Carter. Welcome back. Move, old man. I have things to do. Wait, am I going the right way? Oh, shit. I'm outside the gates. Ow! There's an autosave feature? Cool. So can go there. Do I wanna yeah, let's go see my girlfriend first. Hello there. Wait, where's the record of fate? I think it's at Radius's house. Was it was his name Radius? It's so weird, it's like 60 and 30 frames per second. It's it was a it was a different time, people. Back in the PlayStation 1 days. Blah, blah. But it looks nice on the stream and that's all we need. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, the scrolling's pretty good. Okay. That's all we need. <laughs> Sergi Wergy. So John, if I remember correctly, to the left is Radius's house. I call him Radius. But uh, yeah, that's the gate, okay? And straight ahead, I'll find Lena on the pier. Was it Lena or Lana? Because, yeah, it kind of reminds me of Queen Lean, Lean's Bell, and all that. Search the shop thing next to the lady for the border shell. Next to her. I, I, I just tried. Did I miss something? Oh, you can approach it. There we go. A new frame. <gasps> oh, it looks like you found it. You found it. <laughs> I found it. Oh, well, go ahead. Take it. It's on me. Oh, I didn't know you could you can find new frames. Are you fucking kidding me? Wait, I didn't show that. So you can actually change frames as, uh, as in the um, old Final Fantasy manner. So where is it? Window frame. You can go custom. So Arnian Wood is the default. Then you have Simple Line, Shellfish, Iron Plate, and Arnian Oh yeah, you do. Okay, yeah, I remember. Because I remember I had a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just forgot about that. Walking Strategy Guide. Yes, please. That's very fun having you here. Let me see what it looks like. So if I talk to people now... Talk to me. It's nice, but I'm gonna keep it default for now.
Can you save here? It should be only saving at the... Yeah, you can't save. You can load. It still has two slots. Auto save. That's weird, have this game having auto save. Where the tides start to turn. Oh, chapters have names. That's nice. Let me remember things while Sasha comes back. Oh, Serge, you look better than I remember. Just him, no one else. Sea Swallow. <laughs> Captain Jack Swallows. Ivory Mare. Did you did you equip the mail on your... Oh, Ivory Helmet, that's what I found. And what it is, it boosts my defense. To 9, and Magical Defense to 9. Sure, there we go. Oh, stamina recovery also changes with it. Yep, I, I forgot that. Nice! Let me try while Sasha comes back. Damn, John, thank you so much. You want to do this. Move, bag boy. Or bag girl. That's, that's my... Oh, actually, that's my girlfriend's sister. Better be nice to her. No, that's not the restaurant. That's the other house. Right away, huh? Whee! Okay, you did see. Can you hold the button for it to go automatically? Sure, tell me your time. Really? Thank you, Serge. <clears throat> that means you really like my poem. I'll make you the honorary president of my fan club. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, ready? You said it. Okay, I'm gonna read the poem again. Blah, 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 blah. Well, Serge, were you moved to tears? Could you feel your heart melting? Do you think I can make it? Oh, how I would love to cross the continent and take a gamble on my dream and talent. Waitressing in this rundown. Uh, you're fired. Yikes. I said I was kidding. It was just a joke. You should really lighten up a bit. He's not amused. Okay, I'll do those things. Yes, I want to hear your poem again. Maybe she'll give me her book later because I supported her. How many times did you beat this, John? He's not gonna lighten up. Alright, love, I was waiting for you. Because I'm gonna go see Lena. Lena. Lena? 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 Damn, I know I think Lena because of Chrono Trigger. I'm coming, Lena! Ciao! Wait, loading screen, Lena. Ciao! Yippee! It's hippie! And remember it, little brat. Jesus Christ, man. Nice! She is Lena. Queen Lean. Oh, Lean and Lena. She's Lena. Okay. You're late, Serge. Sleeping in as usual, I suppose. You promised you'd go get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Woohoo! Serge, Lena, look at me! Come on, you guys should join us. It feels really good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. We don't swim too far now. Okay, gotcha. Kids sure have it easy. Okay, I'm not gonna do the voice for her. Remember when we were like that? Not a single care or worry in our minds. I am gonna do the voice for her. 
how each day that lasted an eternity filled with newness, fun, and excitement. But the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. Yes, we have to face up to reality and leave, live each day anew. So I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault. You're late. Oh, thanks. I know that. <laughs> Once you collected some Komodo dragon scales, I'll catch up with you on a better pasa beach. Yeah, I think she needs kind of Luca voice. Is that okay with you, Serge? <laughs> Is that okay with you, Serge? Serge. <laughs> sure, no problem. No problem, toots. He gets slapped. <laughs> Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay then, just don't stand around, go collect some scales at Lizard Rock. Let's see, I think three should be enough. Good luck, Serge, I'm counting on you. She's like, just go kill lethal dragons for me, because you were late, you deserve to die. Come on, Serge, get your butt over to Lizard Rock already. I think I really deserve about the hundred scales, but I guess three will do for now. Once you get all three scales, wait for me at Apasa Beach. You know, it's south of Lizard Rock. And I'll only accept scales that you personally collect. I don't want any that were just handed to you. Oh, can that happen? Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> oh, it's you, Serge. A beautiful day, huh? You caught me dozing off here. There. I mean, there. By the way, Serge, do you like the sea? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, the sea sure is great. But just remember, Serge, don't take it too lightly. Usually you'll find the sea to be washed, deep, full of strength and energy, yet kind and gentle. But once it becomes angry, it can turn into the most frightening monster you've ever seen, engulfing everything. Close your eyes and prick up your ears. You can hear the cries of countless men swallowed by the she. The hidden secret the she whispers. That's pretty scary to talk about that with a kid, man. I recommend you learn to sense the mood of the she. That's, uh, that's if you don't want to join the fellows already on the bottom. Who's bottom? He doesn't look too good. Trolley, hello Trollosaurus, good to see you man, welcome to the stream, welcome to Chrono Cross, how have you been? That's that's the boat, they're gonna, I think they react if we want to try to take the boat, I think, it's kind of gone slow-mo, look, uh, why is... Oh no, he'll he beat the game fifteen times, he'll he'll guide me. Yeah, but he already said it, so that's why I'm speaking. Oh you mean going back to chat. Yeah, that would help, thank you. In or, in order. Okay, let's go. Whoop. I just don't wanna miss anything. What what what's that icon? What did I press? Oh I pressed slow mo. That's why everything was slow mo. And you can like speed it up. Okay, don't press those buttons. I don't like that, honestly. No. Is this normal speed? This is like raw. This raw. Why would you go slow mo? Maybe to see things better. Uh, I got the hacker and bow. Nice. Wait, is that? Can you expect? Can you inspect things? The the key items. Wait, items. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I know they have images. An amulet Kiki's father made from a lion shark tooth 10 years ago when he decided to be a fisherman. The leg bone of a wild hecaran. Perfect for making stock to be used in soups and stews. Controls the flow of time. Ah, time shifter. <laughs> yeah, so that wasn't in the original. I think you get it. Yeah, you get it once you beat the game. If it even was that. So. 
Remember in Radical Dreamers when they、uh, when they were hiding in the treasure room and they were talking about the Hecron and then Kid was like heck 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 catch your own scales, woman. <laughs> Ain't killing poor animals for your hoarding habits, or something along those lines. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, you gotta beat the game once to do it. Was it also the time shifter though, or was it something else? I can't remember. It's been eleven years. Sorting some files. Ah, a man of culture, I see. <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't know. Have I talked to everyone? I think I have. What did John say? I should check. Yeah, I got his not so secret stash.、Uh, item in Lena's house. What? Is, which one is Le Lena's house? And Mayor's house. Okay. Okay, let's go to Mayor's house first. Radius. There is. There's the old guy. I'm gonna call him guy. I did everything just as Chief Radius told me, and now the ace and my body are completely gone. What a fine man our Chief is! Skilled, competent, caring. I heard he was quite a warrior in his prime. You could learn much from our Chief and grow up to be a great man like Radius. Yeah, that would be really nifty. I remember now. That's how you cha change them without the record of fate. The record of fate tells me not to go out to sea today. That's why I'm here for the chief's lecture. Go against the record of fate, and you'll regret it for sure. Days like this, it's best to take it easy. We should all live in harmony with fate. That's like sounds like propaganda right there. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Serge. Hi, Gonji. Know all and see all. I can tell you.、Uh, oh, I can tell you all you need to know about using key items. How about it? Well, tell me, Gonji. Good, good. I'd be happy to. Listen carefully now. When you want to give someone a key item, get within talking distance and press X. This will bring up the item menu. Then pick the item you wish to hand over and confirm your selection. If all goes well, the person should respond. The same procedure for when you want to use a key item at a specific location. Just select the item you wish to use. No need to worry about making mistakes. The item won't disappear if there's no response. Well, that's about it. Come to me anytime you should have any questions, boy. That's a weird laughter, you sir. <laughs> okay, let's talk to the kid. Kid, stop. Hey, Sergi, wanna hear a secret? It's about Marshall. Yeah, sure. Tell me. Okay, but keep it a secret, okay? Ready? Marshall is such a pig when it comes to eating. She'll do anything if she's fed her favorite dish. Very unladylike, isn't it? Tempted by food. So you need to something? Oh, I'm gonna talk to her. Hi, Sergi. What? Ah,、uh, no. That's okay. I want to talk to Pasho specifically, but fine. <laughs> Took her a while to respond. Come on, Pasho. Come on, Pash Pash. Me, I'm a me. I'm a bit busy right now. Maybe next time. Oh, how about? How about I ask you something? What? <gasps> ah, is that a hacker and bull? Sergey Poo, a present for I? He's got a speech impediment. How do you know? Hmm, to accept or not to accept? Aham. Me accept your present, and me still help you. Me will do anything you want. Me will be honored to be by your side. Me will use my pretty miracle power X. Me will do it, Sergey Poo. Oh, we're first party member. Nice. Has the jar jar. 
Remember this music from Trigger? It was for special occasions. I love her speaking pediment. <laughs> We're gonna keep the name. Poshuo. And we got our first... I got a dog following me. Weehee! What can we equip on her? Boop. So her innate... My innate is white. Her innate is yellow. She's got a bone glove. Ivory male. <laughs> Pretty good to start. I don't know how she doesn't eat it, but... Yeah, you'll see how she fights. It's ridiculous. Wait, what if I use the time shifter? Ah, okay, I just used... I accidentally did this and I guess it worked. Yes, yes, exactly. That's how it's done. Looks like I taught you well, boy. But Serge, I have absolutely no use for that time shifter. Wah, 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 wah. All right. Oh, there's sexy Wesky with the raid. <laughs> Woohoo! Here we go. Welcome, welcome, raiders. Welcome. Hi, Simon. Hi, Wesky. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Chrono Cross. My personal all-time favorite video game story and soundtrack, all in one package. Uh, how, how goes it? Ethel at rough. Yeah, we gotta do it specially for Wesker, because of his um, Twitch doesn't work well with his script. That's okay. It took me, took me quite a few tries myself first time. To look. Oh, did you did you get there before me? Hell yeah! Evil Dead the game! Nice! Nice! How was the game in which Resident Evil was it? Yeah, <laughs> he changed his game. <laughs> it's not always Resident Evil. 99% of the time, it will be Resident Evil. Hey Wesky, how are you? Good to see you. Welcome everyone, welcome. <laughs> oh, he's playing Evil Dead the game. How do you like that? How do you like Evil Dead? I, I should have known Wesky will like Evil Dead. Uh, you, did you watch the movies? Do you like Evil Dead in general? So many questions, man. <laughs> How was the game in which Resident Evil was it? <laughs> I should put that in quotes. I, I should. That gotta go to quotes. Yeah, I'll do it now. Hold on. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do it now so I don't forget. So we get a quote from Carter. Uh, quotes. Uh, how do, did that work? I didn't add a quote in, in, in a long time. So I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need one of these. Okay, so that's how we do it. After the quote, I put the date and the okay. Uh, I think I can do that. So add the text of the quote with the quote marks. Whoop! Oh, uh, was the game and which Resident Evil was it? And then. We add the rest of it, we change to Raned Cart Raned Carter. The game was never mine. Just Chrono Cross. And the the date is it's European date, right? 2206. There you go. Push! I just copied it over. There we go. There we go. You got your own quote, Carter. It's quote number four. So if we do quote, quote, was it just four? Yeah. <laughs> what I missed there? What did I miss there? Oh, Kun! Kun's here! Hey, Kun! Good to see you! Didn't see you in a while. How are you doing? Well, at least I... <laughs> it has evil in its title. <laughs> yeah, we're 50% right. Oh, you didn't watch the movies. Ooh! Ah. Maybe he's too young. No, Wesker's my age, I think. What? Wesky, which year were you born? I think he's my age. Like, at most three years younger. But I think he's my age. I think we're the same age. 
yeah the tv show uh ash versus the evil dead it's really good especially since bruce campbell has been doing ash since the first movie came out in the 80s yeah we'll get to that john about lena i'm thinking about that <laughs> The year of our Lord. Hey, Kun. Wow, really? Okay, so he's a year younger, but yeah, yeah. we're about. To, I know. I know. Know we were about the same age. Wow. <laughs> is there a third season? I thought there were just two seasons, man. No, third season is the one. Oh, the ending one. Okay, we watched them all three. Awesome ones, and then the third one, and then they were. Is that the one where he finally gets his arm back? Yeah, is, was it? But he did. Yeah, okay. Because I know we watched some. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> dumb, dumb. I'm young! <laughs> no, it's okay, cool. I just missed you. I, I, I don't stream Outbreak as much. We don't play as much. So. It's not about that. <laughs> and I don't get, I work all day, I don't get to see Wesker stream either. Please, no spoilers! Sorry, no spoilers. I just, it's not a spoiler, basically. Don't worry. Oh, oh no, you didn't. Oh, we don't need that now. We really don't need that because I reset it. Do we, should we have at least like two hours till the next one? <laughs> Okay, it's time to talk to Radius. See what he's gonna give us. Oh, uh, if anybody deserves Master Roshi voice, he does. Oh, Serge, how goes it? That's your mother's voice. <laughs> <laughs> how would you like to join everyone for my lecture? Yeah. Today's lecture is the fundamentals of attack and the art of elements. Sure. Excellent. A true man you are. Well then, let's get on with it. Then we will watch from here. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Come on, Serge. Don't hold back. Damn, I made so many voices. I can't remember what does Master Roshi sound like. <laughs> Yeah, I, I recruited the dog. Hmm, I can't remember, but I have to rewatch it. Yeah, we, I think we watched that. Pretty sure. We watched all three seasons. Okay, so we gotta attack the old man. <laughs> not our mother, not our mother. We meant Serge's mother. You're actually a pretty good frame rate in the battle. Yeah, but it's people say it dips. For a night, for a 2000, for a game from 2000, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Okay. You said attack radius, right? Die, old man. 72, right away. Oh. Oh. First, here's some basic advice on attacking. So listen up, young one. You know that there the, the three different attack levels, weak, strong, and fierce, each have different accuracy or hit percent values, don't you? Every time you hit your opponent, each of these values increases, making it easier for your next attack to hit its mark. A good strategy is to start with weak blows, which have the highest chance of succeeding, and then build up to strong and fierce blows. So rather than attacking willy-nilly, you should aim to build up hit percentage. If your fierce attacks don't hit home, you're just wasting your energy. She's gonna go slap, slap, and slappity slap. Oh, he missed with a fierce one. Okay. So I, if I go straight to three, there's a good chance I'll miss. So I'll go to two. And that's my stamina. I'm out of stamina. Whoop. Now I gotta recover. Ha, ha, ha. What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, I like to do voices. <laughs> You got a pup? You got a dog? Yeah, I got a dog. I saw that. He typed spoiler alert. I think there's... Are there spoiler, spoiler tags on on this? I don't know. Oh, 
Ho, 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 you're not even close. Don't be trusting your hit percentage too much there, boy. As long as you sell 100%, you still run the risk of missing continuously. Sometimes it pays to muster up the courage to use strong and fierce attacks straight from the start, too. I see. So... So he wants me to do it now. Straight! Oh, kill the old man. Oh, oh I missed with the fear. Next, let's check out the use of elements. When you use an element, the color of that element's attribute remains on the battlefield in the form of the field effect. So that's the thing you can see in the upper right. It says, like, basically when you use magic, its elemental energy stays around you. So the smallest one, the smallest circle is, like, right there at the at the heat of the battle and it slowly like emanates from the battle field outwards so those are like the green and blue one here and you use that to your um, to your advantage in this game it adds another depth of strategy when you use an element, the color of that element's attribute remains on the battlefield. Yeah, I read that. Each time you consecutively use the same color element, the effectiveness of that colored element group increases. Here, I'll show you. Let's fill up all the field effect attributes with the color blue. Try using the blue element after me. Turn blue, okay? So that doesn't do anything other than change the... Do I have two? Yeah, okay. Cure plus one. I'll cure myself. Changes the. It doesn't do anything but changes the element of the battlefield. But I'm using a blue magic now that will change it and and affect a spell which I just healed myself. Hey there! Hurry up and turn all the field effect attributes blue for crying out loud! Don't you know how to use them elements or something, young one? If that's the case, then listen up. It takes some explaining. First, you've got to choose attack to do some physical damage to your opponent in order to get started. Each attack adds 1, 2, or 3 points to your element power level. Your current level is the number that appears above the level symbol under your name there. Oh, I nearly forgot to tell you, you won't accumulate any power unless you actually succeed in hitting your opponent. So be careful, you can't afford to miss. When you miss, your, uh, you lose your, um, you, you lose your uh, accuracy, and I think you lose your level as well. Power level. level. Yeah, power level. Oh, okay. So you lose power. Yeah, power level, not character level. This charging, this accumulated power is what using elements is all about. Once you've built up some power, you'll be able to choose the element option from the battle op menu. Yeah, so basically you gotta build up power to use elements or magic of a certain level. When you select the element option, gray colored rectangular plates appear on the screen, don't they? Those plates are the elements you currently have allocated. So why don't you try using one of those blue elements you have there, boy? Relax, they won't disappear when you use them. You just won't be able to use them again for the rest of this battle, that's all. Once you enter another battle, you'll be able to use them again, so don't hold back now. But even though I say this, I still have to stress that you've got to consider the appropriate time to use your elements, otherwise you'll never be able to beat some of the harder enemies you're bound to meet. You've got to form the proper strategy, boy. This is also me remembering how to play this game. Well, oh, but wait, I'm forgetting something important. It must be my old age. There are elements, some elements that disappeared. If in a puff of smoke each time you use them, the element, that is the number, okay? Just one example. These are called consumable elements, and they have the symbol times one in front of their names. These don't regenerate dice after each battle. However, the benefit of such consumable elements is that you can allocate up to five of them to the same element grid space. Doing so allows you to use several of them in the same battle, unlike basic elements which normally can only be used once in any one battle. That is why consumable elements also have a number such as times five after their names. That's the number you currently hold in that grid position. 
This number will decrease as the elements are used. However, after each battle, you can restock more to use next time. Okay, so basically they're consumables. Anyway, enough about that. More about actually using elements. I'm sure you'll notice that each time you use an element, your element power level, as shown by the level number, will go down. It's just simple subtraction, really. For instance, say you're currently at level 3 and you decide to use a times 1 template, the element allocated at level 1 in your element grid. Jesus Christ, man, I'm going on a large adventure and you're giving me this this, this lecture. Okay, I guess it makes sense, you're like tutorial level. <laughs> in this case, 3 minus 1 lives 2, so your current element power level will now be changed to level 2. You can use the element anytime, so long as your stamina value is above 1.0. So in this case, you'll still be able to use elements with a power level of up to level 2 right after using the times 1 tablet element. Okay, man. Did you get the gist of it, Shani? Now, do you see the importance of developing good battle tactics? You could build up a little power, then use an element, build up a little more power, then use another element, repeating this over and over. That's okay. Or you can build up your element power to its maximum level and unleash a barrage of elements, one after another. That's no problem either. Use whatever strategy you think will work to defeat each of the enemies you come across. It's up to you. There are hordes of monsters out there that you'll never be able to defeat with physical attacks alone. You're going to need to master elements to get by. Well, sorry for the long lecture there, Shani. My explanation about elements is officially over. Why don't you try and use one now? I just did. You made me waste it. Sorry, love. Yeah. So let's go. Two. Two. Can I use an element? But I already did that, so I cannot. I guess number three or one more time. Yeah. See, the field is completely blue. Any blue element you use now will surely pack a punch. Here, try this out. And he's gonna kill me now, just one hit kill. What? Oh, oh, oh. Was that too much for you? Sorry about that, young one. Conversely, where there is a lot of blue in the field effect attributes, the elements of the opposite color, red, will be weakened. So try to discern your enemy's attack pattern and fill the field with the opposite color of his attacks as a form of this defense. So you basically can use it to your advantage anyway. This strategy of using elements is sure to come in handy, so put it to good use, Shani. And he's gonna revive me. What a kind old man. Killed me, then he just brought me back to life. Oh, I'm dying. Could you please... Not do that anymore. Uh, do I need to run away or just? Oh, his in his innate is red, and blue, and green. Jesus, that's a cheat. Yeah, he's got two innate elements. Ho ho ho! How was that? You learned something there, boy. Anyway, I guess it's time to bring this lesson to an end. Here you go. Ha! You're gonna kill me again. Yep, she slapped me to death. Thanks a lot, Grandpa. <laughs> Ooh, he's gonna do it. You better be sorry for the long explanation. <laughs> Pooped already, eh? And you're still so young. I did not poop. <laughs> oh well. Don't that don't let it get you down. Come again anytime, Shani. Am I alive? Did he Oh, I'm back to my full health. Thanks, Grandpa, you almost killed me there twice. I think this is where the record of fate will be. Yep. There's a line in front of it. Time sure does fly! Chief Radius has been living here for four years already. He's such a bright, cheerful man. Everyone in the village really likes him. I wish he could stay here forever. Anything to pick up here? John, I think he said something in this. <laughs> Bring chair. Oh yeah, his message is up. That's Radius's house. 
Oh, 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 We came all the way out here in search of the legendary treasure, but our funds ran out. Once I'm done cleaning in here, I have to go do some yard work. We gotta do something to cover our expenses. If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have tried to persuade Sir Toma to look for treasure on the Zenon continent. Oh wait, is that Toma? Toma? No, that can't be Toma. The Toma. Oh, it's you, Serge. I think the chief is outside. He said he was doing, going to teach some self-defense. He may be old, but he still has some fight left in him. You kids better not misbehave, or else the chief will have you to crack down on you all. It says, The ecstasy and anxiety of the chosen one. A mega babe is in love with me. Whee! I'm on cloud nine. But I don't, I don't want to get dumped. It tells of how naive the hearts of men are. Only Chief Radius can come up with a golden saying like that. Wait, really? Painting with Hiragana on it. Sorry, phone is slow. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's the same Toma. Ooh, a cure. Thank you. Nice, okay. That's exactly right, Serge. There it is, the record of fate. It records everything, good or bad. If you happen to across one of these, don't forget to record everything you've done so far. I think of how terrible it would be if you lost your past. There wouldn't be anything you could do about it. If you listen closely, the record of fate will tell you lots of things, like what you should be doing next, and when you can't hear anything anymore, well, I guess it means you don't have a future. When that happens, you should just go home and go to sleep. There isn't anything you can do to change fate. <laughs> if you want to record what you've done so far, step up into a record of fate and open up the menu. Then select the block you want and follow the directions to save. Easy, isn't it? But you should go look for another one. I'm do going to be here for a while. Oh yeah, and if you go out onto the world map, you can say without the record of fate. No cutting in line, Serge. Back of the line. Okay, no, no, please stop it. No, stop it. No. So can I do it here? Still? Can I cut in the line? Nope. Wait, I really can't use it? Damn it. Okay, so it's it's a safe point for all uh, intents and purposes, but it's pretty, it's a big story point in this game as well. It's not just a safe point. It's got a lot to do with the story and connections with Chrono Trigger. Whee! <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, I found it. I found it. You, I like what you said to John there. Oh wait, is that Toma? Yo, my name's Toma the Fourteenth. Yep. He said yo. He's he's the descendant of the Toma. Of the. So he can't. So. Yeah, he maybe ha had a kid somewhere. We we can't know. But people usually put the great explorer in front of my name. The great explorer Toma. Oh yeah, that's his name. I was just looking around for treasure. I have a sixth sense, you know. Yo, I wasn't gardening. I uh, uh, was really looking for treasure. Believe me, kid. This ain't gardening. Now go away. Go on, scoot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, we've checked. Where, where Where's Lena's house? Is that the one right next to me? No. I'm, I'm gonna guess it's this one. Yeah, the frame rate goes to shit from time to time. I don't know why. I also want to check something. Uh, 37 achievements, you say? Wait, what? 
All right. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil that. He shares some spoil. Is this Lena's house? Is Poshul her dog? I think Poshul's her dog. Oh wait, there's the photon ray. There we go. I, I thought I checked there. Wait, that's a that's a good that's a surge element if I'm not mistaken. Allocate to surge. Yeah, photon ray. That's his. How many can I put in? That's uh up to level seven. Hmm. Is it though? Level three. We can put it there. Photon ray plus two. Okay. So the higher level you put it on, the higher it'll go. But not all of them can go. You know. It'll make sense. I'm not gonna go too much into that. So cure plus one, you say? Cure plus one? How many cure can go? Hmm. I'm gonna go with offense for now. Okay, what next? What else can we do? Can I allocate something to Poshul? Elements, allocate, Poshul. We can give her a cure, I guess. A level three cure, maybe? What's her innate? Yellow, was it? Cuts out and drops a block of rock. Block a rock on the fall. Okay, let's put that as the highest level. And consumables doesn't matter which level you put them on. They're always they don't have a level really. Yeah, that's a good start. A few fireballs, you say. Thanks. Thanks, John. John's gonna make this easy for me. Easier. I, so I remember my first playthrough, my first and only playthrough. I uh, <laughs> I died at uh, what's his name, Miguel, Miguel. I died in that battle like twenty times. I I got the frame. Yeah, I, I got yeah I got the new frame. Did you see that? Yeah, you weren't there. His booty. Is that like bad? I remember I didn't keep her in the party for long. So, oh, fireballs are cheap. So I'll buy... Did I buy one now? No, I didn't. Buy three right away, I think. I, I shink. I shink, Shani. Wait, two for now. Cure. I have allocated two. Aqua beam. Wait, dragons are weak to fire, are they? I'm gonna need water for them, I think. We'll find out. Madison recovers the flu and blue status. Recovers poison and the green status effect. Okay. It recovers HP. Depth of the crack in my ass. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> I, why do I visualize things? Yeah, I, I, uh, the barrel, I talked to the barrel and it spoke to me no, and it gave me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, not yet. I guess later. For now, she just, she can get fired easily. Wait, where are my elements? Allocate. Can you sort them? I can't remember. Remove, remove all. Equip. We got everything we need for now. Let's just go and do the thing. I think that's it. Is that it? Can we go? I'm gonna go. Whoop! Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Let's save right now. You can't save in auto save. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fourteen slots plus auto save. It's like memory cards on the PlayStation One. And now you can see. Oh, it changes icons just like on the PlayStation. A calling from beyond time. This is the Chrono Trigger theme, kind of, wasn't, isn't it? Yeah, I always kind of mix them up because they're similar with the sitar and everything. Want to see something creepy? Want to see something real creepy? Can I even go here? Do I want to go here now? Nah, I'll go. I'll go there later, right? No, wait. I won't. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go here now. That's not here. That's in another world. Never mind. I found a heal. We want to fight the wannabe news. 
Yeah, I kind of want to level up. Are they gonna kill me? I just say it. Let's find out. <laughs> Hello there. Let's start. Try that magic, actually. Beach bun, yeah. How do I change the selection? I know there was a way to change the selection. So it's more like... Oh, not the first person, you. I, I guess... That's it. I thought there were, there, you can pick a, a list. <laughs> Soon. I mixed up the, the, the dimensions. Soon. Let's go. Two... Fucking three right away. Oh, there we go. Oh, it died. Never mind. And then I can use element. What are they? Let's try photo array right away. Washa! Just fucking kill them right away. Surge gets HP. Poshul gets HP. Yeah, so there, there are no levels in this game. You don't level up like in a traditional RPG. It has its own. Leveling system, you basically get, get better stats at the, each of, at the end of the battle. And uh, you get spoils, of course, the items. But uh, you do level up some other things. like the, Not the characters themselves. There, there's no, you can see there's no level there. You just have your stats. And I don't remember if that like depends on how you fight. I found at bone. I think they're supposed to be uh, news in this, like, timeline. News or news? New from the from from Chrono Trigger. Remember those oh. guys? See? I do. I do. Maybe there's some kind of evolution. Okay, they're random. John says, "Thank you, John. John is gonna be my co-host. Should have had you on Discord. <laughs> talk, talk uh, with me through this." Um, Surge, you go right up there and you fuck him up. Three out of four times it hits. Ah, it missed. Oh. But I'm out of stamina, okay? Well, let's finish that bitch bomb. 85, 81, that missed. Damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off the automatic accuracy. It's kind of just annoying. Let's do... I have a level 3, right? So I can just... So it automatically switches to the next hit level if it thinks you can you can you can do it. Photon ray. Just, they die so uninterested. Wait, is my yeah <laughs> co-host? Yeah, remind me for next time. Well, you don't remind me. We'll we'll just arrange it. So I can arrange things here. I don't think I can switch to here and he'll be heard on on the head on the speakers. Remember we had that with outbreak, we had to restart the stream. I wish I asked him before. Do I wanna hit him? Yeah, I wanna finish him on with a fireball, see what that does. Level 2, you say? Yeah, you lose your whole your level as soon as you miss. I kinda wanna hit him. No, oh, that's a tablet. I don't have a fireball with him equipped. So one more, don't die on me. Yeah, that's right. So now level 3, uplift. Let's see what it does. Whoop. See, out of stamina, minus 4.1, minus 1.0. That's because you can get exhausted and then you basically skip your turn. It's, it's a math game. Sure, sure, John. I'll let you know next time I stream. Be... Things th this man does for me. <laughs> You're just jealous, love. You're just jealous he loves me more than he loves you. Yeah, it's not gonna be creepy here. That's, that's coming later. Yeah. Just a rock? Should be something here. Serge and Lena. Forever. Ah, yeah, kids. 
Is she digging? Are you digging, dog? Her weird two or three tails. So game, obviously you can have a better frame rate. Why don't you? It's just confusing when you do it like this. Okay, we got everything from these chests. Yeah, you can walk on the on the world map too, right? So we can check out places. Fossil Valley South. I love this. The so Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross, I love their overworld. Yeah, Kitty, damn it! Just so aggressively jumped in. I love their the the concept of their maps. It does kind of feel like Chrono Trigger, doesn't it? Yeah. If, there, if there's a place that's hidden, you really gotta look around. Lizard Rock North, okay? That's us. Beam, 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 beam. That's where we need to go, right? Oh, there's no exclamation point. Why do I expect that to happen? All right. Hello there, sir. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like sneak attack. Oof. Beach bomb and sand squirts. Okay. Oh, I need those fire balls, yeah. The balls of fire. Then three. Oh, alright. Wait. Oh, it's her history. Never mind. Leave my doggy alone. So let's photon ray the next one who's gonna attack. Whoop. Nice. So there's no MP as you can see. It's all based on your stamina and your uh, magic level. Okay. You a beach bomb is gonna be our hitting bag. See how it fills up level two and let's do. A level two again. Bush. He died, and now we can use her. Uh, oh yeah, we can. We can kill this guy with an uplift. Whoosh! Yeah, I remember how to play this game. I thought it would be gonna be an issue, but no. Fuck off! Oh, that didn't do much. I guess it's. Oh, I just have one more stamina left, and Porsche's is minus. But it see it regenerates and it kind of passes a whole turn, I think. Squirt gun. You gonna squirt gun me, boy? What do I have? Just tablet on level one. Let's boost it up a bit. Wah! Oh, it's dead. Never mind. It's dead. Sixty-one G. Max healing. So you can, at the end of the battle, you can basically use your consumables in stock. You know those that disappear or you can just use the spe healing spells that you have stocked up to heal people so we'll use that max healing without using consumables use cure one basically use the remainder of your magic uh, that you didn't use in the in the battle yeah because it's gonna reset at the start of next battle anyway we got a fireball yeah let's put some elements on allocate what can I put there can you sort them yeah reorder I guess we go by healing and supplemental first. I wanna have that. Oh, that restores health, really? I picked that up? Who am I gonna give it to? Who's got green? No one's got green. So, uh, white and yellow, okay. Let me see something. White, surge, yellow, bushel. So what am I gonna put on this guy, huh? Fuck tablets. So wait, heal is goes can go six levels up. It's level two actually, so you can't put it on level one. What is cured then? Covers HP small, but it's a different. Is it a different? What's the deal? Because it's a different. Color, single ally enemy. It's a higher level, I guess. I can't remember. 
They both recover HP. Fuck it, I'm just gonna put this one. I guess. Ah, you think? Because it's just level 1. Do you get anything if you put it on the higher level? You have 5 of those, huh? You can auto allocate. What would that do? Let's see. So, let's just remember what I had. Ow! Not that. Oh, that's how you do that. Yeah, okay. So, I had Fireball, Heal, Photon Ray. Whole fucking party, go! What happens? Yeah, that's not good. I don't, I don't like that. Fireball, then what was there? Heal, and then there I'll put Photon Ray, and then here. Doop, 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 doop. Cure. Uplift. Fireball. Oh, she already has a fireball. Oh, it put it automatically, okay? Cure plus two, huh? But uplift. I guess it wants to give him more healing than attack. Like that. There you go. Oh, you can go up. Okay. Remember the controls. Yeah. Okay, that all makes sense. They're... Her magic is 3 compared to Surge of 7. Yikes. She's good at strength, kinda. Accuracy lower than his. Agility lower. Though resistance is 7. That's like... That's defense, basically. She's got slightly higher defense. Which is good, I guess. So we need a Komodo Dragon. Ah! We want to trick it, right? Cut off its escape route. Yeah, that's what I thought. Good, we understand each other. And I remember how to play this, which makes me really happy. Ah, you've been trapped, little boy. I gotta fight this thing. My god, the game looks still looks wonderful. So, what's weak? Oh, they're all weak to fire. They're all blue. Just, just fucking burn them. Let's use the beach bomb as target practice. I gotta remember to turn off auto accuracy. I'm gonna risk it. Hiya! Ah, oh, shit. One more time, why not? Ah! Hit that guy hard. Sister. Slap. Damn, he bitch slapped her with his fins. Alright, we're ready for magic. So as you attack, as, 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 as turns change, basically your stamina comes back. So, with that in mind, sorry bitch bum, your target practice thingy. I'm gonna use... actually, I'm gonna finish it off. And then use my... ah! Uh, my element. And try that fireball on one of the Komodo pups. Oh, they did not like that. Okay, then you can do the same with your fireball. Does anything change if I leave it like this? Oh, it's still alive. Aqua Beam! I almost had three reds if it didn't use its magic. Oh, I still have level two because I only used level one. But I used up my fireball. Never mind. Gotta remember the rules of the game. I'm gonna try for three. Hi ja! Yeah. Uh, one more time. Hi ja! Did it! That was risky for no reason, but I'm not really in a 
in any danger at the start of the game. What do we get? We got two bones. One Komodo scale. Stored it safely away. We gotta trap the dragons. We got left and right. Where we go first, love? What do you think? I'm gonna say left. Unless that's like the opposite exit, no? So now we gotta trap another dragon. Ooh, there's a chest in the water. Yeah, that's that's how we're gonna trap it, but first I gotta... Uh, you might have been right. Because I know you can fall down, you can't climb back up. Yeah, yeah. There, thank you. No, first I want the chest and I want to kill the beach bum. Fucking beach bum. We'll go there, don't worry, we gotta trap that dragon. Let let him let him be the target practice thing. Ah, I didn't turn off auto again. And then one three, because this should kill him. Whoosh! And then I can element. Actually I'm gonna use fireball. Right on the I don't know which one attacks first, but one of them is dead. Sorry, beach bum. He's dead, Jim. Ow! Not my packs. Why did your accuracy go down? Ah, because he attacked too. Okay. So we'll go for one of these and then fireball it. Ah, yeah! Fireball attack, go! Shoop, shoop, shoop. Sh you. There we go. Finish him. I got a tablet. Now I just need an iPad. Ha ha ha. Wait. Does that bleed somewhere? Don't look at me like that. Don't give me the cringe face. I have the right to be cringy in my favorite game. Oh yeah, we can go over there as well. Stop running, I just want to take your scales. Yeah, yeah, I know. Do you? Whoosh! Yeah, that's why. Now I want to go there. Oh. We'll go back, don't worry. Beach bomb, beach bomb, what you gonna do? I st Please remember to turn off auto shit. Ow! So look at Surge's stamina now. It should be like... See, every time I hit, he's rested. Every time someone else is doing something... The, f the initial person is resting. Wait, do I have enough? So, but using any magic does minus 7 stamina, so that's something to keep in mind. Up to hell with everything! Ha! Huh. I can speed up the... You can speed up and slow down the... The camera doesn't speed up, uh, the camera movement doesn't speed up, just the characters, you see that? Hehe. <laughs> it was a big deal when the game came out, because uh, of the variable frame rate, that was not a thing on console games. Uh, so, what do we want to do? Poor Beach Bomb, he's our, always our target practice person. Oh, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. Should I try uplift on him? No, slap him first, at least once. Damn it! I wasted everything. No, I can't use magic. But Surge can. If he hits one more time. There we go. And now Photon Ray! 
I love the animation of spells in this game. Where does that lead? That leads to the chest, that's what I thought. Ha! I still got it in me, baby. Ivory helmet, let's give it to Poshu for now. Wait, can you theoretically equip multiple helmets? Nope. That would be like... Because I know you can wear three accessories. Ima imagine we wearing three helmets. There we go, Poshu. You're my buddy, Poshu. Can I climb up there? I think I can. This way? Yeah, I got a bone. I got a bone to pick with ya. How do I... How do I go back? I can go into the hole. Or can I? Yeah, I can. Now we gotta trick that dino. It's gonna keep running. What was the trick again? I gotta make it keep get stuck here, I think. Or, or, or maybe I just need to come from the other side. Let's try that. Not there yet. Where are you, dragon dragon? Oh, it's gone. It's gonna be here, is it? Ah, oh, you little bitch. Yeah. Yeah, they respawn because they're they're the quest things. So I can't remember how to outsmart it. For now, it's outsmarting me. Do I just sh fucking chase it? I don't think I. Uh, uh, yeah, there you go. You guys gotta chase. Because <laughs> you can't go back. Sorry. She's okay. She didn't feel. Damn it! Turn off auto accuracy, me. Uh, how dare you dodge my attack? You shall pay for that, little dragon. Your friend will, at least. Cha-cha-cha! Oh, poor thing. Too bad it's gotta die! <laughs> just killed it with a rock. I pulled the rock out of the fucking ground and just smashed it with it. Brutal. Imagine if this game had blood and gore. Just a pass passerby goes, did you just did you just kill that dragon by pulling a rock from the earth and smashing it? That was bloody man. We gotta we gotta walk this way. My kid saw that. It's gonna have nightmares. Be Yep, that's what I want to do. I know every time I know I got to do something in the menu. So, precision, accuracy, manual. Thank you. There's the third dragon. Oh, let's level up on these guys. Sorry. Sorry. Quarters. That's the spirit, now it doesn't change automatically to the next one. Wreck. For now they have like the same accuracy. Okay, that one's dead. Ah no, it's my turn. Oh, good. Fireball attack plus one! Do, 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 do. Final attack! Burn bitch! Oh it's alive? We can't have that, can we? You can see as they're getting hurt they get a little drowsy kinda. Photon Ray plus two. You just killed it with light. 
<laughs> Go Pikachu, yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a lot of stats. There we go. That's more like a level up. Do I want to crush something with this rock? Oh yeah, I want to make the chest float up. That's right. Broop. That's nice. You seeing that? I just push the rock inside and the chest will float up. Come here, chest. I want you, chest. I like doing this sometimes. Silver loop. What was the silver loop? What's a silver loop? Oh, that's uh, that's an accessory. That's to to increase the accuracy, right? Yep. So he's got 85. She's got 82. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give it to her, I guess. Just one percent, really? What about him? He gets 2%, she gets 1%. Okay, I guess I'll give it to him. <laughs> Pikachu, I choose you! <sighs> Hello there, beach bum. Get off of my beach now. Oh, we started with a surprise attack, huh? Do we now? Poor beach bombs, always the target practice. Uh, it's enough to cost magic. Let's start again with a fireball. Yeah, the dragon didn't have blue, I think. Okay, this game is gonna be a lot easier now that I know how to use magic, like all the games I like. There was a time when I didn't use magic in in RPGs. Don't ask. Don't do, do not. Just don't. Makes no sense. Yes, I know. But that's how it was. For real. Die! Blech. And then you. You shall burn. Whoosh! Oh, that was cool. Nice, we got a tablet. Where is that Komodo dragon? Ah, it's gone. So there's a trick to this, I think. I believe there's a trick to this. How do you like the backgrounds, love? Aren't they wonderful? So the new art style, they would be higher resolution, but they just look off to me. Yeah, this is how I remember the game. This is what I think it should look like, so... Peach Bomb! Sorry I didn't choose the new style, we're playing it like it's 1999. Hiya! Why ya? Oh, you dare make me miss? Ha! Do I want a photon ray something? Yeah, I want a photon ray a little. Photon ray attack! Go! Imagine the dog just fucking gnawing at the cr critters on the beach. Sir, will you please, you and your aggressive dog, will you move from the beach, please? You're, you're upsetting the visitors. Uplift you. Yeah, I just want to see what it does. Wow. Did not phased by that. Just and they do one attack. Kind of unfair to them. Hacha! Hacha! I said. Critical. It's pretty fast. Where will I end up now? Oh, I need to, yeah, I need to jump that dragon. How about you change roles, boys, huh? Just 
burn them with fire. Yeah, that's why we use level 1, because we go down to level 2, then one hit we can use a level 3 spell. Oh, didn't do much to it. See ya, Lupka. You rest well. Rest well, sis. Okay, I guess we're gonna practice on him. No, the other one, the other one. I'm sorry. The element. Fireball, I guess. Should have used it on the other guy, but this will do. What if I just go defend? That will fill our, fill my stamina, yeah, and I can defend. Yep. I think I can finish this one. Yep. And then just. Photon Ray, this one. There it is. Damn it! Okay, I'll try again. I think each time that beach bomb is gonna be there. I was, I was rash. You gotta wait for him. You gotta jump and go. Oh, it's not there. Thank you, game. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful, isn't it? They are blue. Fireball the same gun, guy. Fuck. Please make sure one of them is dead. We got three levels. Fireball. Whoop. Oh my god, it's the mama! Oh. Mama Komodo. We're kinda of fucked, cause uh, we have, we're out of stamina. I forgot about this a little bit, so let's go defend. Please attack Surge, not the doggy. Jesus. Okay. Wait, do I want Poshul to attack? Oh, I want Surge to do it first. Surge, use your stamina. That's not Surge. <gasps> I, I pressed defend back. Jeez. And now, Photon. Oh, yeah, I used Fireball. Photon Ray. What? I should have used Red. With her. I think I used two red still. Yes, 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 and yes. Oh my god, she's going in for a hit. Okay, not too strong. For such a large dragon, it's really not too bad. So I use that. Fuck, we'll have to uplift on her. Shoo, fly. Okay, she's weak. I love that you can see visually. Squirt gun. Bleh. Did you just puke on me?
Risk it. Oh. Any more attack elements left? Nope. So we have to do this melee. Is it dead? It died. Reach the new growth level. That's right. So when you defeat the boss, you get a new growth level. Which is... Yeah, it serves for uh, purposes for like uh, the magic. See, we got a new magic level with him. We got a fourth one. Actually, we got another slot in the first level. Your stats can expand more because you can reach, uh, uh, you can reach a point where no stats will grow anymore. If I'm, just correct me if I'm wrong somewhere, uh, John. And uh, when you, whenever you defeat a boss, you basically gain the ability. You expand the cap, your capacity for knowledge. That's about it. Collected Komodo scale. Yeah, but not in a traditional sense. So you can basically, before you beat the boss, the normal, in standard JRPGs, you would, you could still fight and level up before a boss. But here, up to a certain point, you can just, you can't grow anymore until you defeat a boss and you get a new star at your growth level. Yes? That's what it said? Damn, I didn't screenshot. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. Pashushu, we now have three Komodo scale. Let's get moving to a path of beat and wait for Lena. Is she supposed to be talk like, uh, like fucking Scooby-Doo? Yeah, biggest stat buffs, but you can also max out, right? I know the, before some boss fights, I didn't get any st stat growth at all. We're about to... Things are about to go shitty. Are we back in the first screen? I think we're in the sc first screen, yeah? Ignore the beach bomb. Blip. Yeah, we are. We're back at the first screen. Okay. That's about it here, I think. Now, the game starts. Too bad Dupka had to go to bed. So it doesn't stop just before a boss. Where do I see my stars? Oh, there we go. Lower left. One out of one. I know you use them for summoning. And you gotta refresh them. Mm. Okay, thanks, man. Here we go. We're at the beach. We're just slowly gonna... Walk in here. There you are! Sorry I'm late. I hope you didn't wait too long, Serge. Bashu, I didn't expect to see you here. So this is where you went off to. We, Lena's here. How are you doing? Oh, are you two on a date? Sorry, me think me should weave you two alone. Oh, please, don't be silly. What was that? It's very little when you do in random battles. Okay, okay. Well, <clears throat> how did it go? Did you get the Komodo Dragon Scales? Oh, they're beautiful. I'll, make, I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. Thank you, Serge. And you too, Poshul. Ahem, no problem. It sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come so often. The sea never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It's been here for an eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things, heard many things. It'll probably keep rolling in and out 
in and out long after our lifetime without a single change. Pro tip to consider Lina and reasons why she has one of the best magic stats in the game. Nice. Yeah, as soon as we warp, we're gonna talk about that. Hey Serge, remember the time we sat and talked like this back when we were kids? With the gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves, just the two of us talking. Do you still remember that day? Do I remember it? No? What else did I know? I remember, I remember the past, why wouldn't I? I remember. Yeah. <laughs> really? You do? So you haven't forgotten about the promise we made that day? Yep. Hehe, uh. <laughs> that makes me happy. But aren't memories strange? Just when you think that you've forgotten about something and comes floating back into your heart. I think she means brain. I guess it's just lying there in wait, waiting for the right moment. Why, we might even remember this very moment someday. <laughs> What's What does that change, though, if you don't remember? Oh, kitty, I don't think I ever chose no. Bushy. What is it, Bushy? In 10, 20 years, when we're all grown up and married and have kids of our own, when that day comes, I wonder what kind of adults we'll be. What kind of life will I be leading? I wonder what I'll make of this day. Forget it eventually or never forget this day. Why, by remembering? Really? I didn't know that. I did not know that. I actually didn't recruit her on my first... <laughs> really? Yeah, that sounds like, that sounds like Square. <laughs> uh, my first playthrough, I didn't get her, and I know how, I kn no, she just wants to play, I think. Uh, no. Kitty, maybe because she wants to sleep? Calm down. Mm -hmm. I know how to, how to make her join, I just, uh, I never got around to my second playthrough until now. Well, it's again the first playthrough, but yeah. So we'll forget it eventually, we'll never forget this day. Yeah, I hope you're right. Um, Serge, there's something I've been wanting to... And... Serge. What? What's wrong, Serge? Serge? She just now noticed that he never speaks. <laughs> yeah. And off we go. You know who called him? Look, look, look. What are you doing there, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out there. Oh, yeah, I think it's... What? Where am I? You're right, boy. What on earth are you doing lying down anyway? For a second there, I thought you might have been a dead body washed ashore. <coughs> 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 
Ah, this is doing a number on my throat. But you get used to it. Huh? Where's Lena? You were the only one I saw when I got here. Mm -mm -mm. So give me a second. <laughs> yeah, nobody expects that. <laughs> Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Well, I best be on my way. Anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know, you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. Is that a granny or a grandpa? I think it's a granny. Yeah, it kind of looks grainyish to me. Thirty poo, you're finally up. Something went whoosh and me was out cold too. Me woke up first, though me went to go work around, but no sign of Lena anywhere. You think Lena trans spontaneously combusted? Me wonder if she's okay. Cool. Uh, it's a she, and yeah, she she does because she also she yeah. traveled with me. Gesundheit. <laughs> Still doesn't say, right? Nope. See, the music's changed. Different enemies. Opasa Beach. Danger. Keep out. But well, that wasn't there in the original. I think. Yeah, the areas will be slightly different. Do we want to fight these guys? Yeah, why not? Fight me, fool! <laughs> Me time big poo poo now. <laughs> Opa fish. Oh, money. What's there in it? There's this red, so we need blue. Fuck it, I'll just hit it with white. It's not good for me. Should have gotten gotten one of those water attacks. One more than three. Whoop. And then it should be easy to finish it off. So it's black versus white, it's red versus blue, yellow versus green. Is there I more? Thought, I thought you were like, uh, just a <laughs> no, it's it. <laughs> no. Fuck him up. Fuck him all. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're not gonna fight you. We're gonna fight these assholes and build up magic to fight you. See, you're not a punching bag anymore. Ah, <gasps> how did that miss? How did that miss you, dog? Oh, I should have finished the other one, damn it. That would make more sense. Now I see the arrow in my ways. He can't do much. I'm gonna defend with him. We need full stamina. But they have fireballs now. And I don't like that. Ah, stop defending, Surge. Oh shit, each time you press defend, it does happen, okay? Weaken. Good to know. Attack temporarily decreased. Let's 
finish this one and then photon ray the other one. That does the trick. He's dead, the little bastard. How many of you are running around there? I think there's like three or four of them. I use the early game to like gain some stats. Hmm. I just did one hit. Stop that. Okay, she might need a little healing. Okay, two fireballs at once. At least their stamina should be below zero god damn it dog are you blind? We gotta heal someone. Let's cure. Partial, definitely. Stop fireballing me! I was just trying to heal here. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, attack surge. I'm gonna do good. I'm gonna fuck you up, boy. Ah, uh, I don't have enough to heal. No, I do. Nope, and <laughs> that must use nothing. Ah, I'll just heal in the, in the, in the battle. I gotta, it, you gotta remember. Gotta practice the, the system a little. It's a great opportunity to do that. It's very not gonna be easy. How about I heal myself, huh? Or just wail in on this fish a little more, huh? I got three stamina left. And I missed. Ah, too bad. Maybe should have switched to Poshul first so she can charge her stamina. Okay, okay, remembering how to do this. Slappity slap. And it's dead. Good, good, good. Now. Now, ooh, do I want to heal first? Yeah, why wouldn't I want to heal first? Which element is my level one? Fireball. It's gonna heal them, is it? Let's get a level 2 at least. Stop attacking my dog with fire! It's a talking dog, you know how expensive those are? Do I fucking photon ray it? Or fireball it? Wait, if I use one, I'll still have a heal, yep. I'm gonna try fireball on it, see what happens. And then I'll still have enough to heal after the battle if we live. Oh, it actually hurts, it doesn't heal, is it? Okay. This probably does lower damage. That makes more sense. Yeah. It is. Thanks for reminding me, John. I'm like, alright. It's shameful to defend. Don't defend yourself. Uh, things are different now. 
keep that in mind. Can I even go down there? In this dimension? Oh yeah, there's a hole. Let's check it out. Loop loop, there's the chest. Feather. So absolutely nothing here, huh? Those are, those are supposed to be corals, right? Yeah. Why, thank you, love. We're gonna explore the rest of the beach? Why not? I mean, the rock, lizard rock, what is it called? What the fuck? Oh, it's, it's a firefish. It's a firefish! Run for your life, little dog! What are they called? Oh, opa fish. Opa. Cha, cha, cha. Fucking cha. Ugh. There you go. Damn, I keep, well, I keep forgetting to switch players, I should do that. Risky maneuver! Oh, it fucking worked! Cool! And then uplift. Zoop! Ah! Okay. That worked too. Full health, there we go. You got a bone. No, 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 come back. Wait, do we want to kill more Komodo dragons? Or why not? We, I think we need... <laughs> I think we need more uh, scales for something. Yes. That's not Celine. Celine's the kids' pet. Right away. <laughs> yeah, in this in this land, it could be one of the these. Uh, I deserve that. I totally deserve that. Nobody needs healing. Oh, you don't get anything. Killed for nothing. The doop 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 doop. He's guarding the treasure chest. Ha! I just bumped it. Fun fact, I've, I heard of Komodo Dragon here first, then in the real world. Yep. Yep. Okay, we can just... Destroy this poor creature. I can see that uh, it's missing the PlayStation 1 uh, loading times. I know exactly where the laser would move to load. It's, it's remarkable what the brain remembers. It's the Opa fish! And it doesn't give a fuck about us. Okay, fair enough fish.
Hmm, John, what do you think? Should I... I shouldn't go here yet. I think I should wait right after that. Right after the, you know, the revelation. To go there. Marshes are there. The valley should also be there. There's a fourth. So, how do I talk about this without spoiling it for people who don't want it spoiled? But, John? Yeah, not yet. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, the fourth is one of the. Yeah, the fourth is one of the. One of those playsets that was brought in from. From an alternate, alternate timeline, right? Because I know the entity had to, like, uh, balance things up when the the mur crash happened. <laughs> I'm, I'm like doing no spoilers here, so. Ah, oh, see, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that at all. I would just keep going, doing the story route. Nice. So Fort Dragonia is also from. The timeline where humans weren't the best, right? Like, that's the best I can do without spoiling too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. So I just kind of popped in there. But you can see. It's interesting. It's interesting seeing this with more mature eyes, so to say. I'm gonna end the stream here, because Lupka went to bed, and I know John, I know John should go to bed too. Uh, I should too soon, although, although it's 9.30, it's still not completely dark, Jesus Christ. I was looking out the window there, I didn't hide my head. Uh, I know she's very tired, she worked 12 hours today, I think, something like that, crazy. At least 4 hours more than she should have, so I get that. And I know you should go to bed soon too. So I think this is a good place to end it before, before you know, before I really want to do more. I really, <laughs> I somehow hope I'll reach Termina today, uh, but no, uh, that's that's okay. We did the 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 intro, the tutorial, the you know the the boring stuff, so to say, and um, and so next time we can get on with the story pro proper. That way, Lupka didn't miss anything important, and you can rest too. I know you will. Thank you, thank you, John. It, I remember, like, I'm just before I go, I want to say one thing. Remember last year when I started talking about Chrono Cross randomly? I think we were doing Outbreak. One of us was playing Outbreak, the other one was in their stream. And you said, oh, yeah, I, I love Chrono Cross. I love that game to hell and back. And I was like, holy fucking shit, you're, you're kidding me. And, <laughs> and it was then, if you remember, you streamed it a few days later. And then while at your stream, because I keep drooling, I kept drooling at that game for ages now. Since last time I played it, I didn't have it since then, like since 2011. Actually, that's the reason I didn't play it all these years. And um, and and I looked at eBay and I found the copy for what 30 bucks. And I think it was the cheapest copy. I'm pretty sure that was the cheapest copy I found since like 2010. When I still didn't, when we didn't have PayPal in Serbia yet in 2010, so I jumped right on it and bought it. I still, I didn't boot it. Still, I don't have a, I don't have the, a US PlayStation One. But David did provide me with some modded ones. I just didn't get to try it. But we did get to try this version. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> I own an Alphorn, and it's Alphorn. Snapper? Snapper? Wait. What are you talking about, Carter? I lost him. I don't know. I kind of lost him. I own an Alphorn and it's boring. Ah, cool. A real Snapper. Snapper? A good catch. What happened there? What What did I miss? Yeah, did I save? Let's make sure.
Yeah, I am. Because John really should go to sleep, to sleep and the Alp. What, what do you mean by an Alp horn, though? I know the Alps, but what's an Alp horn? Uh, John, John should go to sleep and Lupka's not there. She's gonna miss the big stuff. So she just missed like minor things now. Let me see. You said dirty's on? Our sister, our dirty sister's on. Oh, you tried German memes and puns. I was wondering, what the hell is an Alp horn? Are there horned animals on the Alps that I don't know about? Let's see who we can raid. If, if dirties. Did he start? Dwarf Fortress. I don't know what that is. But let's find out. Like, horn. Is that kind of horn? <laughs> <laughs> thank you everyone for watching thank you Carter for still dropping by don't think I forgot when I asked you are you still gonna be there when we're done with Legacy of Kane? so thanks man um, <laughs> John thank you so much for the walkthrough and uh, and being here you know how how I like having you here Lupka asleep Lupka Wesky too and Simon they're they're all asleep Kunz somewhere prowling in the background everyone else who was watching thank you guys uh, next stream, I'm not gonna say anything now. I'm gonna have see what my schedule, personal schedule does, and then we're gonna set a schedule based on that. Uh, with uh, with the actual Twitch schedule, so keep an eye on that and on the announcements channel and the Discord. And that's it for now. Till next time, stay well, everyone. Bye. Oh yeah, and say say hi to Dirty. See ya.